Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing great and I hope you've got your calendars marked for the 21st of June. I really do. This is a teamwork thing, but I wanted to get on here and uh, talk to you guys. You know, maybe I just fell off the beat track. You know, I've done these videos. Uh, we did one, Linda did one, the Obama syndrome and the truther movement. Um, I did one, time to clean house on the hill. I did another one, march to clean house against the waves of injustice. Uh, Linda did another one, boycott America, show the power of the people. I did another video, A Runaway Horse, Grab the Reins, and then the Attention Alert, June 21st, 2013, Interaction Requested. You know, we have, through the years, spent so much time saying, I know it's bad, I know we have problems, I know that isn't right, and this shouldn't have happened. It was unfair. We have, all of us, been so burned out on wars. War after war after war. And it seems that they never find a reason not to have war. It's almost like Webster's could take the word peace right out of the book. Because, for whatever reason, it just doesn't come to fruition. As badly as we will it, as badly as we want it. And this movement, when we look at all the scandals that have taken place in our government, uh, in all governments, I mean, I don't think there's a country that is exempt from the uh, problem of corruption to some degree or another. And we look at these things wanting a change, wanting to make things better, and yet we sit back and we say, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. What could, what could we do? There's nothing we can do. So, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, that's wrong. I am afraid. FEMA camps? Detention? <gasps> Unconstitutional laws? Executive orders? Going against our Constitution? Trying to take away our guns? Our Second Amendment, our Fourth Amendment, the First Amendment, the Constitution. Saying that the Constitution is outdated? That's like saying America's outdated. That's the foundation of our country. Maybe we should just sit back and do nothing. I, I read in a lot of comments that people say, what's the use? Oh, I know it's bad, but you're wasting your time. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that thinking is exactly why we're in the position we're in today. Is far too many people not wanting to get involved. It's like standing on the side of a street, looking across the street, and you see somebody get mugged by a criminal. You see it happen. You watch it and play. But you do nothing. Somebody comes up and taps you on the shoulder and says, Didn't you see that? Did you see what happened? Yeah, yeah, I saw. Well, man, that was awful. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. And then along come the police, the victims on the ground, 
they're hurt. And you and the person that was speaking to you both cross the street and you stand up brave to the cops and you say, I saw it happen. I saw it. I saw it with my own two eyes. And you give them a description. Of course, you and the person next to you are not going to agree on the description. You might say the guy had a striped shirt and the guy next to you says, oh no, he had a blue shirt on. That's the way it works. And the officer takes the information and then turns around to you and says, did you do anything? And you say, well, yeah, I, I, I watched. I got all the information I could. I researched what the guy was doing. He even had tennis shoes on, black and white. I think they were Nikes. And the officer says to you, well, okay. Then the victim on the ground says, why didn't you help me? Why didn't you help me? There were two of you and one of him. Why didn't you help me? Of course, by then you probably have a crowd of 10, 12, all witnesses to the crime. And why didn't you help? Not my job. I'm not a cop. I didn't want to get involved. Oh, I can't get involved in that. What if I got hurt? So, the victim's on the ground, and you're an eyewitness that didn't want to get involved. We have far too much of that. Our heroes are pretty depleted. Most people get on here, they won't even show their faces. So many people will not show their face. You don't know who they are. What are we afraid of, really? What is it that stops us? What makes us not want to get involved? Especially when there was one perpetrator, one mugger, and 12 people. Do you not see how out of balance that is? How many people does it take to tackle a thief? To save a person's life? To protect a neighbor? We got to get past this, my friends. And that's what the 21st is about. You don't have to do a thing. You don't even have to cross the street. Do nothing absolutely nothing for one day. Just one day out of a lifetime that will send a very powerful message. And to those of you that do not want to get involved, you might go into that mirror like I've said so long ago. Take a hard look within yourself. Look into your own eyes and ask yourself who you are really. Make a list of the freedoms that you really have and ask yourself how many of those you're willing to sacrifice or to give up. Our country was a very strong country built on some very strong convictions through a document called a Constitution. Now we have got a government run amok that doesn't care about our constitutional rights. Please give thought to this. 
We own the checkbook. We own the checkbook. We pay all their bills. We pay for their vacations. We pay for their groceries. We pay for their trips. We pay for their suits, their shoes. Everything is paid for by us. Yes, think about that. We own them. They do not own us. We control the checkbook. So for one day, close the checkbook. And if you're as brave as many, cut off the allowances. I love you all. Give it some thought. If you agree and you're willing to join us on the 21st, mark it on your calendar. We can do this. That's the one, one thing, the one statement he always said that was not a lie. We can do this. Love you. Great big hugs. Catch you later.